Shanghai is China's most modern and dynamic city. It attracts hundreds of millions of tourists every year. People can go to the Bund to learn about the former glory of the old Shanghai as a center of commerce between East and West during the 1930s, and see the extensive Lu Jiazui skyline just across the Huangpu River, a symbol of China's new rise after massive reforms and its opening up campaign. Measures that have made the city an international financial center. The Oriental Pearl Tower has been one of Shanghai's most famous landmarks over the past two decades. It is a must-see tourist destination, and just besides the tower, Disney has set up a flagship store. Tourists are queuing up to get into the store ahead of the official opening of the theme park. Sometimes the line can stretch up to one kilometer. You can just imagine how crazy people are about the theme park itself. Disneyland is sure to become Shanghai's next must-see tourist destination. Disneyland means a lot to Shanghai, as the local government hopes the magical land and the surrounding resorts can help boost the city's reputation as a world-class tourist destination. Shanghai has invested heavily in tourism over the years. Besides upgrading infrastructure and facilities, the local government has also made great efforts to create tourist spots like the Happy Valley, Oriental Pearl Tower, and the Bund. But the introduction of a project like Disneyland, with its global reputation, really means a lot to Shanghai's tourism. Tourism has become a strong engine of growth for Shanghai. Chinese tourists made over 276 million trips to Shanghai in 2015, and over 8 million foreign tourists came to the city. Together, they spent over 350 billion yuan, or 53 billion U.S. dollars. Disneyland is expected to bring in a lot more tourists, and Shanghai is eager to cash in. Shanghai Disneyland will bring an extra flow of tourists to local tourism. This means more business to Shanghai's restaurants, hotels, entertainment, and shopping. It will also have spillover effects to the whole Yangtze River Delta region. The Yangtze River Delta region has some of the most developed, populous, and wealthiest urban areas in the country. And the modern entertainment complexes are making Shanghai an attractive destination for families from the neighboring provinces of Zhejiang and Jiangsu. Disneyland is also forcing Shanghai's entire tourism industry to reform. China's tourism can learn how Disney builds up the branding of its theme parks, especially on how to promote the integration of technology and tourism, how to incorporate China's rich cultural background with tourism. More choices available and more cash at hand. It's still up to the tourists to make the final decision, and competition is certain to be fierce. Xin Jiaming, CCTV, Shanghai. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website cctv-america.com.